ratio is real it's real it's real and it's so disgusting and i'm gonna call a brand out right now why do i make things complicated why do i lose all my control oh, oh. i keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor something to save us close but we're strangers feel like we're far apart My name is Esther and thank you so much for tuning in today to vlog. I made myself my iced coffee. Yo, I have been trying. I don't know why I've been sleeping under a rock. I don't know where I've been. But to be honest, I thought this creamer will be nasty. But I have been trying out. Let me get it for you guys. Okay, so I have been loving and trying out this almond milk creamer. Um, and this is the all natural non-dairy creamer, you guys. This is so freaking good i don't know why i've been sleeping on the rock on this thing i think because i thought it would taste i don't know i don't know you know when you just don't want to taste something because you just you're doubting it like you're doubting how it's gonna taste that's how i was when i looked at this creamer i was like nah it's not gonna taste that good oh man that hit the spot Anywho's, um, so I have breakfast to make today. I am going to make my first time ever. I'm going to make uh, sweet potato waffles. I know that sounds really weird, but I am so excited to try this out because I have been trying to make it, but every time I forget to boil the sweet potatoes because you have to, you know, boil the sweet potatoes first and have that ready. I have never tasted sweet potato waffles and it just sounds so yummy because I love sweet potatoes so much and they're so good for you. So I'm excited. Um, what else do I have planned for today? Um, so I have been so freaking busy, you guys, with my personal life. If you guys did not know, I am planning my own wedding. Um, and I am getting married in like four, four months, no, three, three months, four months. One of those right now, I can't think, but it's coming. It's it's coming too fast okay so i don't have a planner but me and my sister we are going to wing this out because a planner is way too expensive and i just feel like it's very unnecessary to get a planner for just one day i don't care i'm gonna just wing it and make it special the way i envision it to become i should be sharing this with you guys but you know sometimes when for me i feel like when i'm planning stuff when i'm like in the mode the last thing i want to do is grab the camera and film it because i get distracted but I do want to get into that though, to be honest. I really do want to get into that so you guys can kind of see um, my planning mode and when I'm like not doing makeup and stuff like that, I'm actually working, doing something else very important, okay? But y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. I'm about to grab my phone, whip it up, you know, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Hopefully it's good. I love, I love, love sweet potatoes, y'all. So wish me luck. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh, I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Why 
this shirt makes me look so tiny because it's like so big <laughs> but anyways so i'm just here reading and writing and thinking right let me put this down a little bit and you guys i'm just like as i'm thinking what is going on you know like i literally was just bawling but i always cry every time i'm reading the word i'm praying i normally cry like i always do because it just it, listen it, it hits deep okay but with everything that's been going on y'all like like i get on social media and that's all we see right and it makes me like i can't even i can't even work like it's hard to even create content as well like it really is because what we're facing right now is crazy it's so crazy and you know what's crazy racial has always been there it has never stopped social media just made it a lot more easier for us to see it more but it has always been there you can just tell even me i can see it when i go even stores or places I am that person who observes a lot and I can definitely tell when some stuff is funky um, and I'm just like God please I'm praying for our nation man I'm praying for this world because it's not just America it's anywhere in the country racial is real it's real it's real and it's so disgusting And I know we don't live in that world that everybody can be best friend, best friends and love each other and stuff like that. But like, we're all humans. No matter what color we are, you cut us open. We bleed the same blood, okay? We drink from the same water. I don't have water. We drink from the same water. We eat the same type of food, okay? So when people hate each other and they just hate i just be so confused to like why though why but you know i can't question it because there are people like that there are people who are just like that anyways i don't know i don't even know if i'm making any sense you guys i'm just over here tearing up because this has hit me heavy like That's why I'd be like, bruh, the meaning of hate is so disgusting to me. That's my little, whew, I feel like I just let something out and I feel good. Because I feel a little, whew. Anyways, you guys love one another. Treat others the way you want to be treated because this world needs that. Whether it's not a lot of us that do that, treat others the way they want to be treated. At least be that person that does it. Be one of those people that do it. Even if it's not that much. Because I'm telling y'all, the world could be a better place. And yeah, then we'll go from there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, lighten up the room a little bit, Esther. Okay, come on. <laughs> but that hit a soft spot. Like, you guys, that... Ooh, Jesus. Alright, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Victory. Victory. Because your power belongs to you. I'm gonna do a skincare routine y'all know that I got new skincare product for my Sephora haul that I did if you have not watched that I'm gonna leave it in the description box I'm also gonna steam my face so I have to go grab my steamer real quick I'm gonna be right back one second okay okay so I got my steamer here I'm just going to put some water oh in this little thing back here um, I got this steamer from my sister it's been here ever since she let me borrow it, so it's technically mine. By the way, this timber is from Amazon. I'm going to link it in the description box. Start this bad boy. Boom. It is on. Let me get myself ready. Yes, steamer. Get me ready, baby. Now, this is just going to open up my pores. Um, if you ever go get a facial, this is what they usually use. They use something a lot more bigger, obviously, but... They start with this and this is just going to open up your pores so when you're using your cleanser it's actually working a lot more into your skin and deeper into your skin um, than if you don't use the steamer. 
and um, you know you cleanse your face and do all the skincare routine that you normally do but I'm going to set this right here go a little lower for you guys and I'm gonna grab my cleanser remember when you're cleansing your face make sure you do it for at least 60 seconds that's how you get that cleanser to really really work into your skin I keep on letting my bad habits make oh okay so now I'm going to use this scrub and this is from wishful uh, this is Huda Beauty's skincare line okay I really don't do scrubs on my skin just something that I really you know I have tried back in the day and I really didn't care for but you know, um, a lot of estheticians say it's not bad to use a scrub on your skin. It really isn't. Um, but if you're going to use it, especially for me with sensitive skin, I just feel like it's way better. Oh, anymore. It's way better to use it um, probably two times a month because just to like see how my skin reacts and stuff. But it's really, really good to just, you know, scrub once in a while get all up in that skin and i got a little bottle because this is my first time using this product i do not want to get something big and not end up liking it so we're going to just test out the little and we're going to see whether it's worth your money or not okay so now it is mask time i'm going to grab this indian healing clay mask this mask is very powerful and it is really really nice so i'm going to add this apple cider vinegar organic apple cider vinegar esther the science girl Esther, the science girl. Esther, 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 Esther. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just apply this mask a little low because I'm gonna put some eye patches as well. This is not what we should be. So for on the eye mask, I'm gonna grab this milk cooling eye mask. There you go. And one more. We got the eye patches on, we got the mask on, I'm gonna let it sit dry and I'm gonna be back so we can wash it off. You know, we look crazy, okay? I look crazy, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta look crazy in order to get your skin together, your life together, everything together. Y'all, I feel like my face is so clean. Now I'm gonna start, um, now I'm going to extract my face, extracting, extract. Oh my gosh, why is that a word so hard to say? But anyways, I got my tools here, ready to clean. Um, I'm just going to get which one? I like this one. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm done. I am done. My face is a little red. And you guys can tell where. It's like right here around the nose area. That's usually where I get like, you know, the white stuff. And then right here on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. So anyways, I'm going to grab um, this Glow Recipe Toner. And it's just going to tighten up my pores. And I've seen a lot of people use this with their hands. Now I am going to add some serum and I'm going to take this Ole, um, Ole Henningsen serum. And this is their brightening, brightening banana vitamin C serum. And just apply this all over my face. For moisturizing today, I'm going to grab this Glow Recipe Moisturizer. This is new. And I'm just going to moisturize with this. Okay, so for my under eye, I'm going to grab this Ordinary um, Caffeine Solution 5% EGCG. This under my eyes with my ring finger. Now, I would have put uh, my SPF on, but I'm staying in the house and it's not really sunny out. So, so now I'm going to grab this Tatcha. This is the lip mask and just apply it. So I'm going to take this little facial roller thing I even forgot the name of it and just work this all over it's just gonna keep my skin firm and I roll it upwards you don't want to roll it down let 
me just because I need it this morning y'all I need this but anyways good morning you guys first of all I've never done my vlogs so messy since I've started vlogging for you guys at all because it throws me off badly <laughs> but in this case I had to because um, as you guys seen in the beginning of this vlog and in the middle a little bit it was rough okay I have not picked up a camera to save my life at all I have not picked up my vlogging camera my work camera I haven't worked I haven't worked and it's because I needed a break I needed a break mentally from everything that has been going on um, and I know everyone has been going through it with everything that has been seen on Instagram I mean I had to even check out on Instagram I'm just being honest with y'all I could not get my mind right like I could not get a grip of my mind didn't feel like posting nothing didn't feel like posting anything didn't feel like doing nothing and it also I mean me for me it went deeper than just work stuff I'm talking about even home stuff I was not cooking I just l l listen y'all I went through s a, the darkest place in my life and I have never been in this place in my life ever and I'm so sorry for crying if you're not somebody who likes somebody crying or you just don't like watching somebody crying I am so sorry that came out because I was sad like really really sad and I was frustrated and I was confused and all of all of that emotion just came out when I was talking to you guys so it's not something that I could hold back because I would hate anybody to hold back their emotions or their tears um, that was just how it had to be and I'm sorry I'm a ugly crier <laughs> I feel like I'm such an ugly crier y'all but I miss y'all so much um, I have not been doing anything to be honest I have been just in this really sad mode in my opinion I just feel like racism has always been there right now because of the internet it has really made it more open for everybody to see what's going on out here and I feel like people should already know racism oh god I have been praying oh my gosh I have been reading the Bible a lot more I have been talking um, with family we have been this is the subject that we have talked about so many times um, the first day that the protesting started here in Fort Wayne Indiana me my sister her man junior and my younger sister we went to protest and the first day y'all things got ugly Oh my gosh, things got ugly. Cops came out, started spraying people. That was scary. I, I'm not gonna lie. All this was hitting me. I was like, whoa! Like, seriously, a lot, okay? So, we thank God that we were okay, you know what I'm saying? Some people got it. My sister got it in her eyes. Um, but man, we thank God that we were okay. Um, so, if you guys have not donated, signed petitions, listen it will be in the description box you can't miss it anywhere but it's going to be in the description box all of the petitions that you can sign um please 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 also when you sign these petitions take your time to read them there's just a lot there's a lot and for me when i stepped out of social media a little bit more i was finding stuff like this i was finding things i can sign um, donate what I can and also give myself some type of knowledge which I have knowledge already but I wanted to see what other things were out there that I missed you get what I'm saying so if you haven't really took the time to do that please do like I said I will leave the links in the description box but now I am way better so much better I feel so much peace I don't know what it is I feel a lot more peace than I was feeling for the last couple weeks. Um, it has been really rough for your girl. It's been really, really rough. But I would definitely say if you're still feeling the same way or you're trying to find your inner peace, find your inner peace, okay? You have to find your inner peace because if you're not peaceful, then you're not happy with yourself. Then you're just, your mind is just playing with you. Like it's really playing with you. Usually I am able to like grip into my mind and just get myself out of that funk. I usually call it a funk because my funks never go more than a week at all like it doesn't even go for five days but this one was not a funk this one was just like too much like too much too too much so 
Uh, for me, what I've been doing, I have been reading books. I will let you guys know the books that I've been reading. I like rereading books that I find that are really, really good. This book is called You Are a Badass at Making Money. Um, love this book, and this is all in Audible. Love, love, love this one, and I am actually currently reading it at the moment. So this next one, you guys, is honestly one of my favorites. I remember reading it from last year, and I just love this dude. His name is Gary. He's awesome. I follow him on Instagram. If you don't follow him on Instagram, I think he's the best. Um, he's worth it sometimes to be honest follow people on Instagram that actually influence you in a good way um, Don't just follow people on Instagram just to follow them I've gotten to the point in my life that I'm just following people who pretty much are doing something for me who are encouraging me pushing me to you know reach my goals in life and Gary really does it for me um, but this book is called crushing it it's one of my all-time favorite books ever this is really good to actually start reading by audible really really good and I have other ones that I've started but you know I haven't finished it because it was just like yeah not really into it um this one is called the 10x rule <sighs> 10x rule is not terrible I'm just really confused about it to be honest but you know if you want to you know give that a shot that's a good one and last but not least actually two more two more sorry you guys two more I want to share the books with y'all this one is my favorite this one kind of tells you about you know how much money you should be charging brands um, it doesn't really tell you kind of tells you how to do the math for that um, and it's called influencer by Brittany and I liked this book a lot love it I need to go back again and reread this one because it kind of just gets my mind into the influencer mode. Um, and this next one is just like, you're a badass, it's good. You know, love this one too. It's just like the other one, making money, how to be a badass at making money. Same Arthur, it's not like the same book, but same Arthur. Love her too, she's really good at her books so far. What I would honestly advise you, I know this, is, this whole thing is really hard on a lot of people, is take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, take care of your mental health clock out of social media when you need to a day or two days clock out and y'all know with me doing what i'm doing with my wedding planning and a lot of things have been going on in my mental mind that i really need to check out because if i don't i am going to go into the darkest spot in my life and i just do not know if i'll get myself out of that place so it's better for me if i need to clock out i need to clock out out of everything in general everything let me tell y'all i have dealt with people being racist towards me i know what you get when somebody's being racist towards you and it's not a fun game at all i mean i get on in instagram all i see is now brands acting a fool like pretty much yes because you got brands who are just posting on their feed just to pose baby girl you thought posting a feed on your timeline saying black lives matter that's all you had to do in order to you know Oh, if they care about black people. Yes, this is why I mess with y'all. No, it doesn't work like that. And I'm gonna call a brand out right now. If they watch this, congratulations, you've made it to my YouTube channel. Welcome, because I know you have never made it here. But this brand got the audacity, got the nerve, okay? Got the nerve. I DM'd them sometime last year, and it was like middle of last year. But this brand, y'all, just, Finally, after last year, in the middle of last year, I had DM'd them, asked them for potential of working um, with them, being their PR, stuff like that, and um, they finally DM'd me back. They finally DM'd me back. So I, in my mind, was like, it took you this long to DM me back. Are you looking for black influencers? You're looking for black influencers, that's what you're doing because oh and and you followed me back and <laughs> you followed me back at this point you know you just lost me you lost all respect like it's okay when you don't dm me back you know people be getting dms a lot that's totally okay that one i'm not bothered by it but what i'm bothered is it took you one year to respond back so that means you started feeling some type of way finding black influencers so you can share them on your timeline girl I got stop that is what I'm talking about right now it has been going on on Instagram. It's been a hot mess, okay? It's been a hot mess with this brand. Um, if I was a brand right now, I would, I would just be. So, um, what is this called? 
disappointed in my brand. I would be, I would be so disappointed. And girl, sorry y'all. <laughs> Look at and girl, just to top it all off, you have people saying how much they have made or make. So a white influencer versus a black influencer doing the same type of work, same type of, co type of content, and how much they make. Ratio is real out here. You know what I'm saying? And it's disgusting. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Think. I need y'all to think, companies. I need y'all to think before y'all do something, before y'all act a little bit quick because everybody else is acting um you know because you feel like it's gonna you know save your ass at this point it's not it's making you look dumb so uh with that being said that as this that lord come on esther get your thoughts and your mind together that has really been happening here this is exactly what has been happening out here <laughs> and it's just like wow but today's a good day because I made myself an appointment to get lash extensions. Yes, I am going back to lash extensions, gang, gang. Uh, <laughs> I'm back to it. I did take a break because I did want to give my lashes a break. And not just that. At that time, my lash tech did not get, um, she wasn't taking appointments because that's when everything was really shut down. So she was kind of like low-key taking appointments one by one, but not really. So I went ahead and just took my lashes off. Uh, but I'm back again i'm done today i'm just gonna look like a different person today oh my gosh <laughs> i'm excited because they, okay so with lash extensions i have a love and hate relationship with them because okay here's the love the love is i don't have to wear lashes like i don't have to put on lash extensions okay so when i do my makeup it's like another step that saves me a lot of time okay and i just feel like it opens up my eyes even more i mean my eyes are already big y'all see them things popping out they're big right but with lash extensions it just saves me so much more time but here's the like the the negative for them but when it comes to doing my face routine it's like a whole another step that needs to be added and it takes a little bit longer um, because you got to make sure they're clean and stuff like that but to be honest at this time in my life i need those lash extensions it's just I need to be pampered. I need to be pampered. It's been a while since I've done something for me, like me, 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 because I have been just like, like I told you, if it's not wedding mode, it's work mode, but lately I haven't been work mode. I've been sad mode. So I need something to make me happy and I just want to pamper myself. So I'm going to just get my lashes done. I'm excited. I'm so excited. It's going to feel so funky when I have them on, honestly but i am so excited so that is the plan for today i have my coffee here i am gonna just grab cereal to head out so i can get my lashes put in i am gonna try to film it that's the goal for today um i know the girl she has a ring light so i'm gonna place my camera so you guys can see the whole process uh, i'm excited and y'all do not mind this bump like hello it is just there it's popping and it's super red and it's actually pretty painful but i know it's gonna go down within a couple of days or so let's just hope but yeah so let's go ahead and head out it is hot as heck out there y'all indiana weather it's always humidity so it's hot with humid and it's not the greatest feeling ever like half of the times you want to just be pretty much naked okay but you can't be naked duh but yeah y'all get where i'm going right but yeah so let's just hope i do not sweat 
out of this shirt because y'all oh my gosh it's too much but yeah so let's go ahead and head out oh actually let me show you guys what i'm about to eat for lunch right now before i head out i'm actually gonna take this pizza with me i got it from blazing pizza and oh yeah it's hot let me show you guys so here's the pizza y'all that i'm eating it's so freaking bomb it's so nice it has vegan cheese too so so good y'all it has onions banana peppers um spinach it has mushrooms it has all of the good stuff and it's so good and i also sea salt with it too so bomb y'all but let me go ahead and head out and i'm just gonna eat this in the car before my appointment Hopefully my mouth is not going to smell, but I'm not going to really talk much. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head out. So I just got home um, I was gonna show you guys you know after she was done putting my lashes on how it looked but my camera went dead I was so annoyed so I wasn't able to like finish the whole entire clip but this is how the lashes are looking they are just full and glamorous just how I like it now if in case you're curious why I get them so full is because I do makeup tutorials and I normally love my lashes full so it will be extra weird for me to get like light lashes while I do really you know glammed up looks like come on you know so yeah so I'm gonna have these lashes on for a good minute they should last me a good minute and um yeah i'm so in love like look how cute they are it's been a long day now it's dark because after my appointment it was at two until five so it was a long appointment what it was a long appointment and then my mom called me um if you guys did not know we have a family dog she's like the cutest little thing ever she's a shih tzu and um she got hurt so she was bleeding on her like left her right her right leg we had to rush her to the emergency vet um she's not terrible but she's not the greatest they got her on antibiotics and stuff like that to get her going thank god she doesn't have like a temperature or anything like that she's walking perfectly fine i'm sure i've showed you guys not on here if not on here on instagram on my stories a couple times but i'll show you guys her next time when i go to my mom's place but she's the cutest so yeah so that took up a good chunk of my time because we didn't get done until later um so yeah that was too long but 
I have some food here because I did not have time to cook, obviously, and come home on time. I just went ahead and grabbed myself um, some Panera bread. Me and Junior grabbed some food out today. I'm gonna eat in peace. I'm actually gonna let you guys go after I show y'all what I'm gonna eat because I am so tired and I just wanna relax and just rewind my mind, y'all, because I need it right now. Ooh. But let me show you guys what I got. So, um, let me take this off. This salad has a lot of yummy, yummy ingredients in it. I don't like olives, but in this salad, I do like olives. And it smells so good. And I end up putting some nuts in there, almond nuts. And then I forgot what dressing that is. And I'm also going to put this dressing. I really forgot what it is because I do not go to Panera Bread that much. So, I just custom made my, um, my salad and I did the pick for two meal. And I went ahead and grabbed myself a sandwich. So my sandwich, you guys, it looks so good. I also got some avocado in there, some tomatoes, some bell peppers, and I'm also gonna pop in some onions, red onions, because I just realized they did not put me red onions. On the website, they said they were out of it, so that's a bummer. And I'm also gonna put some sriracha in that mixture as well. And I got some chips that I was eating in the car earlier, but yeah, such a really nice, meal y'all this is going to fill me up and it's going to be so good and it's not going to you know have me wake up feeling some type of way because it is nine o'clock i'm trying to eat meals that make sense especially at night time like this because i realize when i wake up oh let me talk to you guys i realized when i would eat late i would make such a heavy meal so then um when i wake up it it makes me feel so bad like so so bad um so i'm trying to like cut out eating um late and if i do it has to be meals like this that are a lot more healthier a lot more lighter in my body and just you know when i wake up it's not like i'm dragging myself out of bed because lately i've been trying to wake up at like 7 a.m so i don't need to like sleep with food that um mm, mm. Ooh, i didn't know that dressing was that good but yeah i don't need to sleep with a meal that it's so heavy, you know, so that I'm able to wake up in the morning and I'm able to wake up at my time. Anyways, let me go ahead and eat this meal in peace, y'all. I will talk to you guys in my next vlog. I'm so sorry this vlog was slightly, not all over the place, but really just random in a way. Honestly, like, it's just been random, you know. So I hope y'all are taking care of yourself, like I mentioned. Um, and if I did not mention, take care of your mental health, you guys. That's the most important thing in this life that you can do. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and close this vlog up. I love you guys so, so much. Now, Penasana. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've said that. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute. I've missed y'all. Oh, but anyways, let me just go leave y'all in peace uh, so I can eat my meal in peace and just relax. Okay, but I love y'all. Y'all pretty sana and I will see you guys in my next video.